Hey there, it's Allie and Whitney with Jocelyn's Midwest and yearbookuniversity.com. We get that you're probably rolling your eyes as we ask you to watch a video about planning for next year when you're already stressed about how to finish this year's yearbook. We get it, but it's so important for us to be having this conversation right now so that you can be prepared for next year, so that you can hit the ground running when it comes to sales in the fall, and so that you're less stressed out this time next year. Check it out. We've got some great stuff for you today. Today, we're going to talk about setting your yearbook prices now for next year. <laughs> Okay, so today we're going to give you four different options when it comes to setting your yearbook pricing for next year. And this is so important that we get it right from the very start so that we can start to sell through your books starting day one of school and so that we end up profitable at the end of next year. Profit equals pizza, people. So profit also equals cameras. It could equal a trip to San Francisco to attend JEA. Profit is the goal. So here's where that educational buzzword cross curriculum comes into play. Let's talk about your yearbook and math for a second. It's simple. Your yearbook sales revenue plus your ad sales revenue should equal or be greater than your total publishing costs from Jostens. It's that simple. So that's the goal. And if we say it again, yearbook sales revenue plus ad sales revenue equals or is greater than your total publishing costs then you're good to go for the year. You may be profitable at the end of the year as well if you take all of this into consideration right now. And since a break-even budget is the goal, Jostens can do the math for you and make it easy for you to simply select the pricing model that you wanna use for next year. We've done the math, we know your programs, we've worked with your schools and know the ins and outs of how you work things at your building. So we're able to do the math backwards. Today, we're going to start with giving you some specific details about different programs, not specific pricing to your school specifically, but we'd like to tell you about all the programs so that you are able to make the right choice for your program to ensure that you're profitable at the end of the year. And it doesn't get much easier than that because we're here to help. So let's jump right in. The four pricing models we are going to talk about today are quantity-based pricing, date-based pricing, single pricing, and custom pricing. And yes, they are in an order of our favorites, and they are our favorites because they make things easier on you. So we're going to talk about our favorite first, and that is quantity-based pricing. For 23-24, um, we're highly suggesting that all of our schools sell online at jostens.com and provide a student list with the parent email addresses so that Jostens can do all the marketing for you. That's something we've always recommended. We're gonna to continue to recommend that. We just see higher sales in schools that, that um, are part of that program. And there's many reasons for that, but the main reason this year is so that you can take advantage of our favorite pricing model for 24. And let's talk about that right now. It's quantity-based pricing. This is a brand new concept to Jostens um, customers. So uh, we're gonna talk about it the most. And with quantity-based pricing, the goal is to drive your copy growth through urgency messaging and to protect the revenues of our school's budgets by offering promo codes that offer discounted pricing to a limited number of copies. Okay, that was a mouthful. Basically what we're doing is we're setting your yearbook price at the highest price throughout the year um, at the very beginning of the year, but we're gonna offer promo codes throughout the year so that parents get discounted pricing. With quantity-based pricing, the highest price is set. Jostens will offer a certain number of codes of discounted promo codes that will automatically be applied to your buyer's carts when they purchase. There is no need for your parents to enter a promo code. They'll automatically get it and we'll make it seamless and automatic. Three codes can be created to offer four different price points throughout the school year. You can almost think of these as the opposite of the typical tiers where we set the lowest price and then penalize people for waiting to order. You start with the highest price and offer discounts to the early buyers. It's basically the same thing, only this time we manage how many can purchase at the lowest price by only having so many codes available rather than raising the price on a certain date. Codes are used first come first serve, so depending on how quickly your parents and your students move to purchase, they could last for a while or they could be all gone in one day. 
The best part about quantity-based pricing is that we've done all the math for you so that we know what pricing you should use for each code in order to break even at the end of the year. Jossens will do 10% of your books at the targeted lowest discounted price, 10% will be at the second lowest price, and then 20% will be at the third, and the rest of your books will be sold for full price. There are so many reasons this is our favorite option for 2024. The most important is you finally are in control. No more guessing how many students will buy at that lowest price and at this highest price. With the codes, we know exactly how many copies will be sold at each price. And this helps us guarantee that you will end up profitable at the end of the year. No more guessing. In schools that have tried this option, we've seen an average of 36 more books sold in one year due to that urgency messaging that Justin sends out to parents about those limited promo codes. The early buyers get the best pricing, so parents race to the site, and when they do, the promo code that's available, if there is one still, will automatically apply to your cart, and they will see the messaging on the site about that available promo code, but they'll just automatically get it. This pushes parents that traditionally buy on campus to buy online as well, because they don't get promo codes at your building, only at jostens.com. This makes your job easier too. No more collecting and entering on-campus orders or depositing checks and calculating tax. Feel free to continue to take on-campus orders. Uh, parents just need to know that they'll be paying full price at the building. Another great thing about quantity-based pricing is you don't have to worry about those dates anymore. When does your price go up? When the promo codes are out. There's no more marking your calendars or checking your calendars, making and remaking posters for date confusions. Wouldn't it be nice to not have to trash all those marketing materials because of a date change? With all the great things about this option, you're probably wondering what are the disadvantages. Well, there really aren't many, but there are a few worth mentioning. This is not an option for schools that do not sell online or for schools that do not submit a student list. If your school hasn't done this in the past, we'd be happy to walk you through it um, or your administrators so that you can see all the advantages. Having correct email addresses for all students' um, parents is what makes the promo codes fair to all. So if we have a student list in, that is missing some kids' email addresses, those parents won't get the messaging about the promo code. So it's almost a little unfair to them. So we need to make sure that we have a complete and accurate student list so that everyone has an equal opportunity to score that book at the discounted price. Since quantity-based pricing is a new concept, we wanted to take more time explaining it. You may have more questions, so feel free to reach out to us and we'd be happy to explain more. Because we believe so much in quantity-based pricing, we think this is the best for all of our schools. If you think otherwise or have circumstances that, that may tip the scales, please let us know by May 3rd so we can chat with you about the other options and have a decision made by May 5th. We would love to have 2024 stores set up by the end of May so that they can go live August 1st. Okay, so next we're gonna talk to you about the three additional options, which are a little bit more traditional, but probably not as high on our favorites list as quantity-based pricing is. And since no model for pricing is one size fits all, these other three options are still available to you. Um, and we want you to choose what's, what's best for your building. So second on our favorites list is date-based pricing or more typically called tiered pricing. Our goal with date-based pricing is to drive your copy growth through urgency messaging that's based on prices increasing on a certain date. This option is still great because it still rewards your early buyers with a discounted price. But with it being based on a date and not quantity, it is a little bit more of a risk. For example, we could plan on 100 students buying at $50, 90 students maybe at 60, and 60 students maybe at $70. But what happens if all of the students buy at that lowest price and none of them buy at the highest price? This means less revenue in yearbook sales. And if we tip the yearbook sales scale down, then we have to boost that ad sales scale up. And that's a real bummer. With date-based pricing, you can sell online and on campus with or without a student list of parent emails. Though you always know we recommend uh, selling online and a student list submission. But let's check out a couple of things to keep in mind. First of all, since parents will buy at the lowest price, typically early in the year at the best price, you will sell most of your books at the lowest price. Because this is opposite of quantity-based pricing where most books are sold at a higher price, you will probably have to start your lowest price higher than you would at quantity-based pricing. 
So with quantity base, you might be able to start at $30 and with date based pricing, you might have to start at 35. Lastly, we understand that most parents are probably used to getting their yearbook at the lowest price at the beginning of the school year. But when we do that and we sell more than we plan on at that price, we're then forced to either adjust our ad sales goal, beg for forgiveness from admin when they come short on paying the bill or change the price of the book mid year. This is not a good look and quantity based pricing solves all of those issues. The third pricing model is the single year round pricing. This is that math equation we were talking about. We know how much you need to raise in yearbook sales, so we can divide that by the number of books you plan to order, and that is the price for every book all year. This seems like a simple model, no dates, no remembering price changes. However, it has its downfalls also. Parents love the urgency to get the best pricing, and without that incentive, sales will, sales will come in slower and it will make it harder for you to know exactly how many books to order when it comes time in spring. This single year-round pricing model works both with online and on-campus sales or with or without a student list. But of course, you know, we always recommend both of those. One last thing worth mentioning about single year-round pricing is the price averages out. So it'll be higher earlier in the year than it would have been if you did quantity or date-based pricing. It's an average price. So it starts a little bit higher than, than you might typically be used to. The last option, and not on our favorite list at all, is called custom pricing. By custom pricing, we mean pricing that is not based off the equation for success, which is the yearbook sales revenue plus ad sales revenue equals total publishing cost. If, for example, you don't love that you have to charge $50 per, per book to be successful and you decide to charge $25 instead, well, that's custom pricing. Custom pricing it, for us is a red flag because it means your program is not self-sufficient. It means you're borrowing from somewhere to pay the final invoice. We don't want you to have to rely on another program or department. We want you to be able to cover your bill on your own. And that's job security at its finest friends. Now, sure, there may be some situation where the board says, we don't want parents to have to pay more than $25 per book. So we'll cover the $25 out of our budget. This is a guaranteed support from your board that we know we can count on. Or if you would like to make the book $25 um, per book by hosting a fundraiser or two throughout the year, and you can bank on that profit from that, sure, that makes sense also. But where custom pricing does not make sense is when it comes down to that gut feeling that the yearbook price should just be whatever you feel like. Choosing a custom pricing model over one of the suggested options comes with risks. Justin's suggested pricing is based on a finite equation. Setting the price that doesn't satisfy this equation sets the yearbook program up for a loss and deficit. Just because a price feels right doesn't mean that it's going to pay the bills. However, this option is great for programs that might know they have guaranteed support, guaranteed fundraising profits, or guaranteed surplus from previous years. Again, nothing is one size fits all. If you're choosing this route, make sure you have a plan using the following equation. Revenue from yearbook sales per book cost times the number of books plus ad revenue, plus any fundraising or support from the district equals total publishing costs. If you do not, custom pricing is not a good option for you. So to review, there are four pricing models we're presenting to you for 2024. In order of our favorite, with a few perks for each program, we have number one, quantity-based pricing, which guarantees break-even budgets due to planned and limited promo codes that guarantee yearbook price points for better budget planning. Prices start at the highest price, but automatic promo codes, if available, are applied when parents check out. This is our suggested option for all schools this year, and online sales and student lists are required for this option. Date-based pricing, traditional tiered pricing where the price is set at the lowest point and increases on certain dates. The third is year-round pricing, where you can easily price your books at a single price all year, knowing this may affect the rate at which pur purchases come in throughout the year because there's no urgency to buy. That fourth option and not our favorite is custom pricing. We want you to be able to afford your bill on your own because that secures your job and a successful program. This custom pricing is based on yearbook sales, ad revenue, district support, fundraising profits, all of those to be successful. The great news is with the plan, there's no right or wrong answer. We just wanted to communicate all of these options to you so that you can decide what option is best for you. Friendly reminder, we will be signing all schools up for quantity based pricing unless you reach out to us by May 3rd to discuss so that we can have a final decision by May 5th. We're doing this to help you get ahead, run a profitable program and enjoy doing it. 
If you do not want this pricing model or have questions about it, we totally respect that. So please reach out by May 3rd to chat. And by the way, it's okay to watch this video a hundred times before you decide what to do for your school. So please do that. That's why we did it because we know there's a lot of new information and it's a new way of looking at your budget and your success. Our number one goal is for you to be successful and to have fun on this journey with us. Everything we do and suggest is with that in mind. Have a great weekend guys. And we will follow up in a couple days with a reminder to reach out by May 3rd with questions or a decision. We are here to chat when you're ready. Thanks guys.